Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. Say what? What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? The strongest fighter? Me, obviously. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight. The other is the Dark Knight Hero. Anyone vote for me? Paimon, who are you voting for? Oh, oh, Paimon votes for you! Aww, thank you, Paimon. Oh, I do envy your life of leisure. But don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just... Get back to work. Yeah, get back to work, buddy. Mm. <laughs> if you got time to lean, you got time to clean. Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girly who wears red. A little girly? <laughs> you mean Amber? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. It's Klee, dude. <laughs> I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. Ah, uh, it's for sure Klee. Only Klee would be able to do shit like that. You want to know who I think the toughest fighter is? In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all. Stanley. Who's Stanley? Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? I'd beat it to a pulp. Yeah! Bam! Wham! Pow! Hi! <laughs> Are you here to try Mondstadt's famous wine, too? No, I'm underage. Grandmaster Jean is so strong. She can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. <clears throat> And she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes of Dada Upa Gorge all by her <laughs> so <laughs> If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever gonna find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says! <laughs> hey Jean! Who's the strongest fighter of Mondstadt? Oh. Strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. <laughs> Recently, one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Ooh, she called me strong. Awesome. We're legitimately just like two children running around asking random adults questions. <laughs> Clee! For bumping into you. You dropped something. Hey, look! Explosion inside city wall. Grounded the grounded be that wall explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. Monstad be bombed. Clee be doomed. What the Monstad be bombed? Clee be doomed? Yikes! I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. What's wrong? The, the treasure I buried in the whispering woods. It's Gone. Oh. Did you say buried treasure? <laughs> Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay! Thanks, you guys. Disappear. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed food. <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. We're here. This is the place. Look, this is where my huge treasure was buried. And where there's now a huge empty hole in the ground. Wait, who's that over? Oh, it's, a, it's an abyss mage. It's an abyss mage! Hey, maybe he's the one Jean was warning us about. Mm, I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. 
Hey, you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight! After him! Lucky she didn't come alone. Otherwise, I'd... <laughs> Rambo's spitting in his mic. He's spitting. Let's keep up the chase. Oh, is Klee tired? Klee, do you need a rest? No. I'm coming with you. It's my treasure that Mr. Fluffball stole, and it's up to me to get it back. She gave the Abyss a major name. <laughs> get him. Can I hold it down? Oh! Okay. You can see why that dude calls Clay the strongest. Boing, boing, boing! Boing, boing, boing! Don't mind me. I'm literally dodging every single trap because I'm short. This is how short people win. <laughs> you followed me. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed. But this is as far as you will get. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do? Oh. <laughs> He's gonna laugh. Now, your precious treasure shall be your undoing! Now, what have we here? A flame symbol? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> he fucking exploded! I broke the survival rules! Explosions can hurt people! Jean can be dreadful! This is it! This time, I'm done for! What? Wait! So Klee's treasure is a bomb? That was epic! I... I turned myself in. Aww. Huh? I... My... My bomb! I... I hurt someone! Klee, I need you to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Wait, hold on, hold Why on. Why is that? Klee blew up an abyss mage, so it's fine. It should be fine. But... But Mr. Fluffball was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. <laughs> She's too innocent. Paimon already told you that the abyss mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys, they hate all people. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the enemy of humanity. <laughs> they were tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure. Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no. To try and get the facts on the treasure. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm Lie more. Lie more, Paimon. In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. What is that? Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! Aw, look at her dance. Look at Klee dance. Klee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Uh, I, um... Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. Klee? I'll see myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> help us ooh, now. Ooh, yes, please! Wait, no, I... I can't. Klee needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum version. Uh. Um, when you say treasure... Uh, she's making bombs in there. <laughs> I made it into the shape of a Harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. You disguised a bomb as a Harpastum? Just wait for Ludi Harpastum. Oh, yeah. They're gonna love it. Oh, goodness. She's gonna blow up everything. Yeesh, if Jean was listening to this. I do want to say that I might have accidentally started the mission before. Sarah ended up talking to me, and I thought it was just going to be like a random quest event for Sarah. I went through some of the dialogue options, and I ended up figuring out, oh, wait, shit, I accidentally started the story quest. So that's, that's my bad.
I did see the personal slave option, and yes, I did find it funny. I didn't get it on recording, though. After all, the wine industry is Mondstadt's main source of income. Gene takes great pains to make sure no detail is overlooked. There is a dog next to me, just trying to sniff my feet while I'm talking to this man. Hey. Hey. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? My cat's gone missing. Have you seen it? Uh, Diona? I don't know. No, I haven't. This is a bit worrying. What if Prince can't find his way home? Oh, good thing I didn't say Diona. <laughs> You're on the way to see Jean? What a coincidence. Paimon thought you were looking for a cat. Yes, I wanted to see if Jean could help look for my cat. Seriously? You want Jean to help look for your cat? What's wrong with that? Ugh, unbelievable. Guess the case of Prince the Missing Cat is now added to the agenda for our meeting with Jean. <coughs> she getting sick? Oh no. Uh, acting Grandmaster? <sighs> no, she's feeling sick. Hey, Jean. Jeannie, Jean, Jean. <laughs> oh, it's our honorary night. Sorry, I must have been daydreaming. Are you okay? How can I assist? Actually, it's not us who need your help. It's a bunch of other people. I see. Well, thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. <coughs> I have made a note of these commissions in my files, and I will <coughs> make arrangements accordingly. Great! She's about to pass out. Miss out hey, yo, she's passing girl. out. Seems that's everything. We'll be on our way then, Jean. Ayo, hey, she just passed out. What the fuck? Jean, are you okay? How's Jean holding up? Is it serious? It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. She's always been one to push herself too hard while overlooking her own needs. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. Seems like you really care about Jean. Oh, uh... You think so? I, I I mean, she's the acting grandmaster and all. We can't have her collapsing all the time now, can we? So, so you know, it's not like this is a personal thing. It's just out of love for oh, concern for the greater good. Yes, that's it. All right, well, this is a job for us. I have been informed about Jean falling ill. On behalf of all of the Knights of Favonius, Allow me to express my sincere gratitude for your assistance. No problem. We have a job. It's like you read my mind. We have quite a connection, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I, I love that connection. I will feel much more at ease knowing that the honorary knight is personally overseeing these cases. Why don't you do it? Yeah, why don't you do it? <laughs> oh, I have far more important matters to attend to. There are so many things to... To prepare. Mmm. Like what? Drinking wine? <gasps> Venti! Venti! Have you come to help? Me here to help you? Why, on the contrary. It is I who needs the helping. Why would a god need help? But Paimon just saw you talking to Margaret about Prince. Aha! Uh -huh. So, Prince is the name of the feline fiend who thieved my spare astral iron strings. Uh-oh. Prince should be somewhere around the marketplace. It's a black cat you're looking for. Here, kitty kitty. Here, kitty kitty. Oh, here he is. Come back here. Hey, look! Over there! Hey, well, uh... Prince has very keen senses. It didn't take much to scare him off. Wait, I, I was about to catch him, and you stopped me. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Ah, wait, no, 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 no. His senses are keener than we thought. Try creeping up from behind. Quietly, of course. Oh! Or, if you're feeling patient, use some fish as bait and catch him off guard. Bro, we don't have this mechanic ever. Oh, wait, I can throw the fish. <laughs> wait, wait. Hey, what's up, Stanley? Good? You just, uh... Good, Stanley? No? Okay. Uh, I might not be far enough. No! I'm gonna try and use the fish's bait. No, really? Wait. He just went back to Margaret. Oh, good boy. 
that's my prince. I knew you'd come home to me. <sighs> After all that searching... <laughs> Cheer up. Even if you didn't catch him, he's back here thanks to you. Oh, and he still has the astral iron strings with him. I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude. <laughs> this is a very rare moment. Rare venti sneeze. Rare venti sneeze. Alert. Alert. Apologies. At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. Imagine being a god and having cat allergies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. I'll be going now. Uh, 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 venti sneeze, venti sneeze, venti sneeze, venti sneeze, venti sneeze. Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. I just took a rather important order. But unfortunately, we've run completely dry, and the delivery from the winery is behind schedule. What's so urgent about this order? Ah, <sighs> it came in at the last minute. Literally just a few seconds ago. Exactly. Hence the urgency. Okay. Cool it. No, don't hit the balloon. No. <gasps> no. Stop. 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 No, they're beating it up. Wait, did that finish? Re wait, really? Okay. Amber, are you here to help out with Jean's commission? Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. <clears throat> I can help. Well, why don't you take this order? Start by getting the ingredients. Are you sure he can be trusted? It might end up tasting a bit funky. All right, Pyman, shut up. You eat slimes. Order number seven is for one sweet madame. And so begins the story of us becoming basic kitchen hands. What are you talking about? I can cook chicken perfectly, Pyman. Mm. <gasps> this smells absolutely divine. This is nothing less than what I would expect from a head chef, never mind a sous chef. Pyman did nothing. Hmm. Since you cook so well, uh, you might as well take this sticky honey roast next. This is... Wow! Did you really cook this? This is quite simply astonishing! You were born to be a head chef. Mm-hmm. In your face, Pyman. Fuck you. Welcome back. You must be exhausted. How is she doing? Jean has regained consciousness and should be back to her normal self soon enough. That huge tree at Windrise? That place is dedicated to Mondstadt's hero, Vanessa. Oh. Jean goes there whenever she feels lost and confused deep down inside. Oh. Barbara, that's some pretty personal stuff. How do you know so much about Jean's innermost thoughts? Mm. Jean, uh, mentioned it to me, you know, before she left. Are you sure about that? Hi, Jean. Are you feeling better now? Much better. I was not expecting you to come here. Thank you for your concern. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. It looked like you were struggling. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? You can always rely on the other knights. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hearing that boosts my spirits. But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise, how can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? <sighs> the protector that Vanessa was. Huh? Jean? What? Who's there? <laughs> an abyss mage? Why the hell is an abyss mage over here? Finally, an opportunity comes to get rid of the master in a moment of weakness. And then you two show up and ruin everything. Since this opportunity has slipped away, I shall now be slipped. No, what? <coughs> okay. What? Okay. Are you Get him off the cliff, get him off the cliff, get him off the cliff, get him off the cliff. Aw, oh, damn it. Whew. Thanks to Barbara's help, my condition is better than I thought. The main thing is that you're safe. Now, isn't it time to get back to Mondstadt and rest, Acting Grandmaster? Yes, I should at least go and thank Barbara again. I hope she is not upset with me. Master, you finally returned. 
The Animo Archon protects you. Swan, were you waiting for me? Has something happened? Yes, at the Angel's Share. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing big, but... We'll go. Um, okay, I know I said it's nothing big, but... All right, how can I put this? Uh, they just really need the acting Grandmaster. Ah, it is. Oh, what's all this? It's a thank you party for you. A thank you party? Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all so worried about you. We can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting Grandmaster, and you do so much work all over Mondstadt. We thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we'd take this chance to throw you a party. Uh... Jean? I... Uh... Huh? Is this Jean when she's... shy? I've never seen her like this. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This really means so much to me. But there are so many things I still need to do. I spend so much time doing library admin. Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. Me? Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank hey. for the venue. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. Yeah. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way, I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for her hard work. Mm -hmm. Oh, Master Diluc, I... Now, let the party begin! Hey, having a good time? Why did you say I was the organizer? The thing is, Jean knows all of us so well now. When someone organizes a surprise party for you, the closer you are to them, the more bashful you tend to feel about the whole thing. So instead, we just gave you all the credit. So you gave me the credit to hide your own shyness. Of course! This party was clearly Kaya's idea. Shy Kaya? This is gold. <laughs> oh, wow. Two things. One, this sweet madame. Two, this sticky honey roast. <laughs> <She's> just... <laughs> did you make them? Yes. Mm, I refuse to believe it. Where did you suddenly learn to cook so well? I'm going to finish eating this, and then you're going to teach me everything you know. Don't you dare try and run off. Hum, num, num, num. <laughs> <laughs> My word. The Tawn Winery's wine is every bit as delectable as they say. I would never be able to afford this normally. So, in the spirit of enjoying the moment while it lasts, another glass for the bard, please. Ah, hello! <laughs> I didn't see you there. Oh. What is this floating sensation I feel? Have I discovered the true meaning of animal power? Yeah. I hereby declare that every son and daughter of the city of the wind must be compelled to taste this finest of wines. <laughs> Here's the good wine! Oh boy, he's so drunk right now. Can we get a rare venti hiccup too? That'd be great. That would make my day 10 times better. This is quite a lot of excitement considering the idea was to relax and take it easy. Would a drink help you relax? Is there anything without alcohol? What do you normally drink? Oh, you know, I normally mix a few things together. But I always add some bright red. Red? Let me guess. Tomatoes. No, watermelon. <laughs> Cherry. Chilies. What? I add chili peppers. <laughs> what? Leaving the hustle and bustle of the banquet behind them, the two of them stood there, together, in the quiet of the night, while the rest of the world melted away around them. Sounds like the sort of thing you'd find in a romantic novel, no? Yes. I'm just saying. Jean went upstairs to the balcony. Alone. Now's your chance. <laughs> it is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits. And it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion tooth knight. The lion tooth knight represents Vanessa's past. A past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. 
but it was the dandelion knight that represented her hopes for the future, a future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above or from the wind all around us. Let the wind lead. Let the wind lead. The winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path. Yes.